today I wanna show you my orchid which I saved with you from stem rot and root rot this orchid in front of me uh, it had stem and root rot and with you I put this orchid in this um, container which I call greenhouse for this orchid um, I put two months ago and now you see it has enough roots and I can I decided to plant it now I decided to plant it long time ago because these roots uh, were ready already to be planted uh, but I didn't have time to make a video I wanted to show you how I am gonna plant this orchid that's why I didn't plant this orchid yet and still it's in greenhouse um, in my previous video which I showed you I did if you didn't watch that video you don't know what I did with this orchid this orchid had stem rot and root rot and these strings are from the old rotted roots and I didn't cut them I just cleaned the stem it was smelling very bad it was smelling like dead potato a rotted potato and uh, I cleaned this stem and after cleaning I washed with potassium permanganate I added a little bit from this potassium permanganate to the water and with that water I washed this stem and this way I stopped rotting and uh, rotting stopped and it dried right away the stem and it cleaned also and after cleaning I placed this orchid in this greenhouse on top of the sphagnum moss and I covered these strings from the roots I covered uh, them like this with sphagnum moss and whenever it got dried uh, I sprayed some water and later on at, at the beginning I put it in this kind of plastic bag then I changed it, I put bag from the bread because this bag has um, small holes see I cut it and I put on top and I fixed it with rubber band like this because I wanted to see the uh, orchid what's going on inside the greenhouse that's why I put this kind of bag with holes and then um, when this uh, orchid grow its roots um, I was lazy to open it every time to open this uh, rubber band and you know check and I just placed it in this kind of bag again and see it's torn and it's sitting like this and this orchid is getting air as you see from here it's getting air and uh, whenever this sphagnum moss is dry I stopped spraying it because I am lazy now that I see that this orchid already grow um, roots and I don't worry for this orchid and that's why I started putting a uh, half cup of water in this sphagnum moss and this sphagnum moss takes water from the bottom and it goes equally up that water, water and uh, it makes the sphagnum moss equally moist and you know I don't water the sphagnum moss often probably uh, once a month since I showed you you know the results of this orchid which uh, it started growing five roots at that time it uh, grew five roots that time I showed you and since that time I never watered this sphagnum moss I put only once lots of water and uh, here probably uh, more than cup of uh, half of cup and uh, since that time I am never watering this orchid and now I have to plant this orchid because it's already time and in my comments people are asking where they can get potassium permanganate uh, here from the stores in America I couldn't find this 
uh, thing from the stores and I ordered it from Amazon you can order it and they have you know uh, different sizes according to the size you pay for this and it's not too expensive stuff and if you buy this much it lasts for forever and it's too much and I use for lots of things that's why I need this that's why I bought it much uh, now um, I will show you how to plant this orchid how I decided to plant um, uh, some people can think that um, it's not necessary to watch how I'm planting this orchid but today I decided to plant it in different way which I already tested uh, this way here I will show you uh, after this way I, I will tell you what why I decided to plant my orchids in this kind of way after finding my hundreds of orchids from trash uh, it's a little bit hard for me to water all of them and um, I don't want to buy now um, self watering pots because uh, these orchids were sick they had disease they had fungus and mealybugs and um, I didn't want to plant them in in good pot that if they survive after that I will slowly slowly um, transplant them in a self watering pot until that uh, I decided to try this method because it's very hard to water them all the time and um, I wanted to test this uh, method and see how they uh, they will grow in this method and now i see the results and um i see that this way is very good for those who uh, is lazy or who, for those who doesn't have time um, i will show you my orchids uh, i cut this uh, cola uh, cola bottles uh, into half and I planted this orchids in this kind of way see um, in this short time they grow in two months uh, I didn't even plant them transplant them um, right away after I found them from trash recently I transplanted them and uh, I see good results that's why I decided to plant my this orchid in this way and you see how many uh, new roots these orchids grow already and even the inside the pot you can see new growing root healthy thick roots and here it's not only one all of them are growing here you know so you see um, I put some of them in this kind of medium uh, in this kind of way I planted them and here I have on top shelf I have a lot and all of them are doing great and that's why I want to show you today um, see this orchid is also growing lots of lots of gro uh, new roots you see here and I will show you this orchid also see how it's growing I want to direct this uh, roots into the medium that's why I put on top this piece of bark on top of the root I don't want to have lots of air roots because uh, I don't have time to take care of them I don't have time to spray this air roots most of time mm, uh, because I don't have time I don't take care of them they get dry whenever I water uh, they get water Ex besides that I never water them you know separately I don't have time to spray them every day to take care of this air root that's why I am directing this uh, roots into the medium see I put on top the bark piece of bark and this roots will grow into the medium you see how many lots of new roots it has see it's growing crazy and these are old roots and these are all new roots see how healthy and strong they are I love to see them 
in this kind of uh, situation they are doing great they are very happy and I will show you here I have another orchid see it's also growing lots of new roots here see and even I wanted to see how a uh, very sick um, and non-healthy orchids will react to this kind of planting see this orchid is mushy see fluffy ha ha it has fluffy leaves and they seem dry see and I and it doesn't have lots of roots see it's uh, I can easily move it from uh, I take I can take it from the pot because it doesn't have lots of roots it has few dry roots see in the medium and I planted it I wanted to see how this orchid will react to this kind of uh, planting and I see good results also here it started growing new roots and now um, I will show you uh, what I need for that for this kind of uh, planting I need a cola bottle see I cut it with knife and this uh, top part it goes in to this bottom part like this and I make holes with a knife and I put my candle and I uh, make hot this uh, knife with candle and I make holes with this knife I cut this lines if you can see I cut uh, every other line I cut see here I cut and this line I left without cutting and I cut here and this way I cut and prepare my pot this is self watering pot for me for now later I want to plant this orchid in beautiful pots in a decorative pots like my uh, orchids see um, for now these pots are good for me until these orchids get uh, healthy and I will show you what I need for that I showed you this bottle how to cut and here I have all my ingredients which I need for planting this orchid now this is uh, perlite this is vermiculite and in this kind of uh, medium we don't need them usually I use uh, perlite and vermiculite in my orchid medium I showed you already my self-made home uh, self-made homemade uh, orchid medium if you didn't watch that video, uh, video you can go and watch that video and you will learn a lot I'm sure and you will love that medium most of people who learned from me uh, and they planted their orchids uh, in that medium they thank me they are very happy that they planted their orchids and their orchids are doing great in that medium if you didn't watch you can go and watch and here I have lava rock I washed it already and um, if you plant your uh, orchid in self watering pot you can use thread um, here um, in this kind of pot it's not necessary in some of my um, uh, plantings I added this thread but I s don't see difference you add this thread in order to uh, you like like weak um, or you don't add it's it doesn't matter they grow equal similar and that's why today I don't see a necessity for that and that's why I'm not putting that thread in the pot I take my lava rocks and I fill this uh, pot with lava rock
and this much see it goes till this line and I can add a little bit more because my orchid doesn't have lots of roots if your orchid has long roots lots of roots you don't need to add this many uh, rocks you can add little bit less and on top I put uh, when I was planting these orchids on top of the lava rock I put uh, sphagnum moss New Zealand sphagnum moss it was outside and it rained outside and this uh, moss became ready for me to use and the, for these orchids I used this New Zealand sphagnum moss but now I have live moss which I grow I am growing myself in this container see I have live moss uh, and I have three kinds of live mosses um, I have this moss which grows in a soil and this moss I have which grows in a bark and I have uh, Spanish moss which grows on the trees and now I'm going to use these two kind of moss uh, here I am gonna take some from this moss see it's growing in a uh, soil and I will wash it and this uh, which is growing in a uh, see uh, in a bark chips see they are growing in a bark chips and under them I put bark as a medium for them and I'm gonna take some these are already washed the, I don't need to wash them I will take some pieces and this moss I'm gonna wash and I will come back now I wash this uh, sphagnum moss uh, this moss from the soil I wash the soil and they are ready to use um, why um, these orchids I told you that I planted uh, when I was planting them I added this New Zealand sphagnum moss and I now I decided to add this uh, moss live moss um, and uh, why I decided to add this moss because I know already uh, um, I have already good results with them I add it in my vodaculture orchids I have in these ways I have three kind of orchids bulbophyllum and this is oncidium and this is jewel orchid thank you for telling me telling me in my comments that this is jewel orchid I didn't know the name of this orchid as you see now this orchid has it grew this uh, this branch and it has three leaves here and it has long stem now when I showed you this jewel orchid it was growing the second leaf this leaf it had only one this leaf and now it has four leaves see it's growing and I added uh, in this uh, water culture orchid on top I put some live moss and these orchids are doing great they are very happy they feel uh, that they're um, they're feeling them in nature see this uh, on sedum it started growing even new roots and this uh, baby on sedum it grow bigger larger size see after I added this live moss and that's why I know the results from this uh, mo live moss and I love this moss that's why I decided today to to put on top of the lava rock this live moss if you don't have any uh, live moss you can add this kind of uh, sphagnum moss it works great also because you see already results and what I did last time when I was planting this, these orchids I put some sphagnum moss first lava rock on top of lava rock I put some sphagnum moss on top of sphagnum moss I put uh, my homemade uh, charcoal see wood charcoal and on top of this I put some layer of uh, bark mulch this is mulch uh, I showed in my video self uh, homemade uh, orchid medium in that video I showed you already how I prepare this uh, pine bark mulch 
for using. And before use, using, I do something and uh, you already know. If you don't know, you can go and watch that all. Now uh, I'm gonna place uh, this uh, moss uh, on top of my lava rocks. You see, I will add two kind of moss um, here and here. I will fill the bottom of the pot with this live moss. And this is extra. I don't need this, but I can add here. Yeah. And now I will put some uh, charcoal and bark mixed. Uh, I put uh, on top of this uh, sphagnum moss charcoal because if this sphagnum moss gets old bad in the water uh, the, uh, and it gets acidic, this uh, charcoal will neutral neutralize it that's why um, i put on top of this sphagnum moss charcoal this is uh, candy for the orchids orchids love this uh, and i i add some charcoal and bark on top see and this uh, uh, this moss will get um, water from the lava rock and it will um, the water goes through the sphagnum moss up and this sphagnum moss it holds lots of water you see these roots never get dry and they love uh, this live moss and now i'm gonna place uh, my orchid i have to cut these strings now i don't need them because i have enough roots to be in the pot that's why i will cut and i will come back if you have small roots and you decided to plant it earlier um, you can leave these strings which are in the bottom but i uh, because these strings can help your orchid somehow to take uh, moisture from the medium but now I don't need because I have uh, growing roots, long roots, and now I'm cutting this uh, bottom roots, uh, these uh, strings from the roots. But if you have small roots, you can leave them and they are not gonna harm your orchid. Vice versa, they will help your orchid to get moisture from the medium. And um, I forgot to tell you that when I was putting this orchid in this uh, greenhouse it had these two leaves and after i placed it in this greenhouse it grows three leaves you see this is first leaf this is second leaf and this is third new leaf and it grow seven roots from seven roots these uh, two are not looking good because i didn't take care of these roots at all i left it and i didn't even uh, look at it uh, probably months that's why it happened with my orchid roots see it's dying back from the tip but uh, in the medium when it gets enough moisture this root can grow you know it, it can continue growing but this root it can grow from this place it can continue growing from this place but the tip of the root, root is dead dry now I and placing it uh, on top of my uh, medium see and I will put some bark and this charcoal wood charcoal mixed together to cover these roots these roots uh, they got used to be in the uh, dry uh, medium see this is uh, hardly moist this is a uh, little bit moist and um, they uh, directly I never water these roots that's why they can be in this uh, medium in this pot and take slowly moisture from the bottom 
moisture goes up from the bottom and these roots will go uh, towards the water it's very good for these roots to be in this kind of uh, pot for now and uh, I already tested this method with these orchids which have uh, roots but uh, this orchid it has new roots they never been before in the medium uh, they got moisture from the air and that's why this kind of planting for this uh, orchid is I think better choice see I will cover these roots and I will show you what I am gonna do now you see I covered these roots only and this medium is very airy um, and um, moisture goes from the bottom and it can get air from the upper part and now I'm gonna fill this uh, bottom of the pot with water and I will come back I have water um, you can use filter water or rain water and I am watering from the top this uh, bark it doesn't get soggy when I water from the top even go uh, water goes directly into the bottom part see it's going down and this uh, water is enough to keep these roots for now moist and until this uh, sphagnum moss gets water and it gives up to this medium now it's ready and I can see from this uh, through this root uh, through this pot the roots see here I, I don't know I see but I cannot show it yeah here you see this root and from this root I can know I know that uh, how this uh, orchid is doing in this medium see here I I can see this root also and I can see easily how they are developing <coughs> And I have to tell you something, this water, even though this uh, pot is staying under the growing light, it doesn't uh, get algae, you see, the pot is clean. And I never wash this bottom I, ne I never wash this bottom part of the pot see it's always clean and I will tell you why because I am using wood charcoal wood charcoal it keeps the water always clean um, and here you don't see any algae this is not algae these things are sphagnum moss when I watered it uh, for the first time sphagnum small pieces of the sphagnum moss they went down that's why they are swimming in the water now but i uh, since i planted these orchids in these um, pots i never washed their pots and um, i have to tell you something also uh, if you grow your orchids in water culture you can put a piece of um, charcoal wood charcoal and you forget about washing your ways or something this always keeps water clean and you never need to change the water it never gets bad uh, I learned this from my mom whenever she wanted to root uh, cuttings from the plants she used to put in a vase and she used to put a piece of charcoal and still my sister is using the, that method to uh, root her plants I am I learned from them and I know that this is very helpful this is helpful for 
everything and see this water is clean and I n uh, I don't need to word, uh, to worry about washing this bottom of the part uh, pot I don't need to worry about that and I not don't need to worry about uh, watering this uh, orchid because uh, I put this water and it will last for months months I can forget about this orchid uh, in here I put water with fertilizer this water goes up and slowly it feeds and it waters this orchids that's why see they are perky and now here I didn't put add any fertilizer for now and later when I see that this water uh, will go down it will evaporate uh, it will go up I will add water with fertilizer for now it's good because these roots are new in this medium and they have to uh, adjust in this medium um, here I have to tell you something that orchids you can save from uh, dying uh, in any stage if you know how this orchid I already showed you and now I am finishing uh, my uh, work with this orchid and here I have other e examples if you didn't watch my previous videos you don't know if you watched you already know I showed you this orchids and since um, I showed you these orchids they grow up I will show you last week five days ago I showed you these orchids and I told you that uh, I'm gonna feed these orchids and um, before showing you before making that video one day before I watered and fed these orchids and see in five days how um, big they grow up and this orchid uh, it decided to make me happy it's growing third new leaf yeah I don't know how how to show you but camera is not focusing uh, here the small third new leaf is growing and this orchid grow I told you that this uh, leaf was pushing the sphagnum moss and see it's going up now it was laying that time when I showed you now this leaf is go going up and it grow second new leaf here here now you can see uh, and in five days they grow big large size because I fertilized them and that fertilizer which I showed you uh, it's doing wonders uh, orchids they love that fertilizer if you don't know how I fertilizer uh, fertilize my orchids you can go to my video simple recipe for orchids which triples the size and blooms in short time in that video I showed you how I fertilize my orchids and see this orchid baby orchid it has third leaf all of them they started growing their leaves after fertilizing and it happened in five days see how huge they became after fertilizing now you know that you can save your orchids uh, even they have they don't have any roots but they have leaves and even they have they don't have any leaves they have roots in all these kind of situations you can say if you work it if you know how to do and I showed my in my previous videos if you want to learn you can go to that videos and watch uh, now I wanna I decided to finish my video thank you for watching if you learned something from this video and you benefited from this video please don't put thumbs up um, and don't forget to subscribe if you didn't subscribe yet bye happy gardening